It was the best Vlun in the universe, except for the Vluns that were better. If you're new here, I'm Katie. I'm on a journey of authenticity and fun and getting healthier. Thanks for being here. Hey, running buddy. What do you think of my official running cardigan? I bought it at a Nike store. Nike cardigan store. Ah, gotta let out some steam. Just irritated by things today. Irritated by my husband using ambiguous language that my three-year-olds take the wrong way. I was saying, him saying, maybe mom will play the cat game with you. To them, that means mom is definitely gonna play the cat game. But anyway, three-year-olds just know what they want. So that's it. No getting around to that. So how are you doing? I'm serious. I care about how you watching this video are doing. I made a video not that long ago. It's called something like how previous isolations have inspired me to do what I'm doing now. And yeah, if you don't feel like watching that video, I can just tell you that I'm an expat in Sweden and that's pretty isolating. I was a missionary traveling in a van with a few other people for over 13 years. Pretty isolating living and working with your team. I didn't even go into the fact that I'm a preemie parent, you know? We were isolated in the hospital for six weeks and I have some of the vocabulary that some people don't have about what all these tumultuous feelings are. I even attended a class while in Covenant Players about transition, specifically transition chaos. Transition chaos is basically like when you don't know who you are apart from the things that previously defined you. It's like, say you are a heart surgeon and suddenly the only job that you can get is putting fries into a fryer. You have all this knowledge that nobody respects you for because that knowledge that you had before doesn't mean anything in a restaurant. Uh, I'm just really, really, really thankful for YouTube. It started out like a lot of other people not knowing what I was doing. Still wouldn't quite say that I know what I'm doing. But I've learned a lot, which is why, and, I, and I'm a person with a passion to teach, huge passion. As soon as I learn something, I just want to turn around and tell it to the next person. And <laughs> seriously, my entire life, Anytime I've ever seen any runners, I'm like, I couldn't do that. No way, never. I traveled with this young guy one of, for one of my four and a half mission chunks of time. He was passionate about his weight loss and his running. And he was always trying to get us to run too. He was so gung-ho, he was like, seriously, 
you run with me, I'll buy you shoes. And I was like, no. I doubt he's watching this, but by some weird chance he is. Hi, Jonathan. Look at me running. Do you still want to buy me some shoes? <laughs> but seriously, though, you don't know how happy I am to read and respond to comments. If you're a small YouTuber and you'd like to have some advice, or not just for me, but you know, people a lot smarter than me, I have a Facebook group called Helga. Helga stands for helpful, honest, encouraging, learning, growing, aspiring, but more about transition. It's like, it's, it's a kind of chaos you can keep comparing to what things were before, but they can't. The comparison's not gonna make it any easier. When I first came to Europe, and I was in Germany, I was comparing everything to America. The, the grass feels different. The money sounds different. But it's like with grief, there's different stages. I mean, you can choose to never leave that comparison of the old life behind. Or you can just slowly start to accept it bit by bit so that you can start to acclimate to a new normal. And I've just gone through a lot a lot, a lot, a lot of that in my life. A lot of adjusting. I mean, like this house, this beautiful house we've been able to rent. We need to move soon. We looked at a place, but it still feels weird to think of moving in two months. Because what if the family's not able to come back? What if they're stuck where they are? Who's gonna take care of Blixton? Our most fluffy best cat ever. to stick around and wanting to just get to know me because I want to get to know you I want to build community I have so many ideas for how to do that you know building community among creators among expats I want to enable other people that that don't think that they can to build their online communities where possible like Facebook groups for localized areas, for people to keep an eye out for each other. You know, check in for elderly or sick people to ask for help with groceries. You know, it's, like, it's so easy to make a Facebook group. You basically just click create group, boom. It's just so much, it's so good to just start. Just seek out lonely people wherever they are. Comment sections because we need each other. We can't do it ourselves. I know I can't. <sighs> Sweaty hugs! Nostrils of death. So I just had a very distant conversation from a lady who was walking by pushing a very elderly woman in a wheelchair and we just chatted for a sec. She's like, yeah, she likes to go outside, just get some fresh air. It's just so boring right now. There's nothing for them to do. Before they could at least go to the store, but now they don't even dare to do that. It's just terrible. <sighs> oh man, breaks my heart to think about lonely, bored, cooped up people. Nobody should have to be alone. 
But thank God for the internet. And at least we can have some kind of connection. Okay, it's really hot now. Gotta get out of these gross clothes.